Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to part three of our DIY manual conversion on a Ferrari F430 using a European Auto Group conversion kit. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? Again, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and over here is Steven and this is his car. We got a decent amount done. We've got the master cylinder in, we've got the clutch pedal in, we gotta do a few small things on that. We have not adjusted the clutch pedal. Art told us to wait until the end to do that. Makes sense. You kind of want to get everything situated before you do that. So we're going to continue to see how far we can get today. And of course we have the shop dog Mo. He's already assumed the position of holding down the floor. It is very important. The floor wants to get up in the air. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Go to our website, normalguyssupercar.com and ngsupercars.com if you want to buy any parts, services, or cars from us. We do appreciate when you guys can support us. That keeps this whole thing going. And finally, if you're interested in getting one of these kits, reach out to the European Auto Group, EAGUSA.com. Okay, YouTube, we had a lesson learned. We left that hose coiled up on the floor of the frunk and ended up leaking because, well, gravity and, you know, smart. Yes, very smart. So uh, our recommendation is, uh, the Bible says to coil it up down there. I think you actually want to probably leave it up here until you're ready to actually run the line. So lesson learned there. All right, we're doing a quick tidy up from yesterday, which is the shaft that goes through the pedals has a little tiny hole and you're supposed to put a bolt in that little tiny hole to prevent the shaft from sliding out. We could not get the shaft aligned yesterday. So we're going to resume trying to align that shaft using a giant pick. That's really, really, really sturdy. Can you give me that bolt? Yes, I'll go get the bolt. This is the That's pick. the pick. From Harbor Freight. It comes in a pack for like seven bucks. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to have. Miracle? Miracle. You got it? 90 degree was better, actually. Okay. So. Kind of like hook it and rotate? So you, you put it in the hole. You got to be real careful when you drive the pin, the pedal pin, yeah. the pivot pin. You need to really make sure that hole is close. Really close. And then once you get it where you think it is, then you hook through the clearance hole that the bolt goes through. And you, once you're in there, then you can cock it. Just so walk it. You, yeah, you walk it. But what happens is if you go all the way, too as far, far as you can go, you went too far. And if you go all the way that way, you went too far. So what you need to do is kind of feel the, um, the range and then go all the way one way and then work it the other way halfway. Mm. And you just keep doing it incrementally until it drops in. But you have to do it both longitudinally. So you're working on the opposite side of where the bolt's going in? Uh, no, you actually put it through the hole of the bolt. Oh, okay, bolt. you have to take it out and try. Yeah, it's, you're gonna, it's going to take a dozen times. Okay, gotcha. So you have to work it longitudinally, and you have to work it rotationally. Yeah. Each one could be off by one degree, and you won't get it in. So you, it, it's tiny, tiny movements until it just drops in and you catch a thread. Jeez. All right. Well. Really, really difficult. It doesn't seem like it was a great design feature. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to attach the spring from the clutch pedal to the mounting point. That's going to be a bitch. Yeah, I got it. You got it? I got it halfway in. Oh, just, halfway? I don't have, it's it's going to flop out. Yeah, it's going to pop out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Get in your hole. All right. Spring is in? Yeah, spring is in. Sweet. Spring is in. Just a pain. Yeah, looks like it. All right, moving on to stuff that actually looks like stuff happening. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. It's probably the only fun thing in the whole project. Right, and it's simple too. It's only four bolts. <laughs> so it's so good. In the manual, they talked about these holes possibly having little rubber gaskets to keep the paint out of the threads. Yeah. You'd have to pick them out. Mine did not have that. Okay. So you just line it up and <clears throat> bolt it down. Those are 13 millimeter deep well sockets. All right, gotta get it aligned and bolt it down. Obviously, you get all the bolts started before you. Yeah, anything. yeah. So get them, get them snug and then tight. Holy cow! <laughs> Starting to feel real, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. 
All right, next we got to wire up the reverse switch and lo and behold, it's already there. Ferrari already wires it for you. That's crazy. So you just plug it in and zip tie it. Oh, that might not be the one. Oh wait, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Duh. There it is. That's a Ferrari plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Cool zip ties. Let's zip tie it. All right, YouTube, we are now switching to working on the rear of the car and underneath the car. So we thought that was a good time to just do a tool reset, put everything away, clean everything up, and start fresh since we're kind of done with the interior. So we're going to have to roll the car forward, get it up on the lifts, get the bottom tray off, get the rear diffuser off, get the side panels off, and then we can start wrenching away on that. Okay, so we're using a two post lift to raise this car. I'll show you the lift points. So right here on the front, there's a little bump that sticks down. We have a hockey puck there, and that's the front spot. And then for the rear, the rear is fairly obvious. There's a hole in the diffuser you can see, and the hole exposes a metal frame. And there we have another piece, and again, a little hockey puck. Okay, YouTube, We've got the car up in the air. Got four millimeter Allens on the rear of the diffuser. Got 10 millimeter hex bolts and then a boatload of 10 millimeter hex bolts on the bottom tray. Okay, getting the four millimeter hex bolts. I'll get a little magnet tray for you. Oh, they, they're stainless though, would it work? Oh, they're stainless, never mind. In the tray part, just the sticky part. Yeah. And now the 10 millimeters, there's uh, four, I think, of them. Yeah, pro tip, if you push backwards, it'll hang on, or well, I guess forward, it'll hang on that lip. And then once you're ready, you go backwards a little bit. Push backwards. Yeah, there you go. See, it's got a little tiny lip. Okay, moving on to the bottom tray. The annoying thing about the bottom tray is the lift points are encapsulated in the bottom tray. So basically, once we get everything undone, we have to drop the car, pull the lift posts out of the way, move the bottom tray out of the way, then we can lift the car back up. I'm gonna get a bag. Don't worry, it'll get hung up on the lift arms. Okay. See? You might have to even jiggle it to pop it loose. Get it down. Yeah, it's it's kind of caught up on something. Make sure that I'm not missing them. Not yeah, you're missing something. Um, here it is, outer one. And there's only like 22 of them. Oh, only? Yeah. Did you change the oil last? No, the oil needs to be changed, but it has to be done for the okay. conversion. Okay, apparently it was changed on June 16th, 2020. That he did it just before I bought it. Yeah, he wrote on the filter, that's cool. And he wrote the miles, too. John was good. Yeah, that's cool. How many miles was that at the time? Uh, can't read the first number. I can't really read it. It looks. I mean, it's ten thousand. Ten seven eight seven. Yeah, that's probably right because I bought it around twelve. Okay. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven and change, maybe. Oh, okay. That's probably right then. Okay, YouTube. Now that the rear panel is disconnected, we're gonna lower the car, move the lift arms out of the way, then put it back up in the air. Okay, car is on the ground, and as you can see now, you gotta kind of like lift the diffuser panel up to clear the arm. Puck. One. There. And then we can just scoot it forward usually. There you go. Okay. And we can put the lift arms back in place. Alright. Now she's ready to go back up. Alright, YouTube. We get to do an oil change. My favorite F430 oil changes. This thing. Uh, we'll start off with the small 10 millimeter bolt up front. Uh, no, pull. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. <laughs> yeah, give it a good whack. There we go. And then get that little cup ready. Yep. So he's got a Blackstone account, so. We're gonna try, oh, we can raise that too. 
Um, there's a strain in there. It's not gonna. Yeah, no. But it won't lose the plug. Doesn't say you could raise it though, so it doesn't splash your face. It's just less likely to cause a mess all over your face. <laughs> I think it's full. <laughs> I filled up pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah, ideally you want the car to be warmed up, but uh, it seems not really possible here. Not with the not with this situation. We're half ripped apart. Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right, uh, Steve is gonna. Um, this is your first time doing that plug, right? Yes, sir. All right, it's what I like to call the big mamma jamma plug. This is the one that uh, does bad things and splashes oil everywhere. So I'm gonna stand back. <laughs> Everyone's like. Yeah. Just let it drop. Once it's ready. Did you take off the cap on the there top? There it is. <laughs> All right, not too bad. Not bad. Better than Dan's first time. Uh huh. You also have better tools. <laughs> that is true. You were doing it with the uh, wrong stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Look how fast it's. It's already slowing down. Well, now we should probably undo the cap on the top so it can drain better. Uh, I mean, we'll just let it drain while we're at lunch. Oh, okay. We'll just keep these under there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because we could get the oil, well, we'll can need we to get, get another one and we can get the tranny draining too. They'll drain for like a day. Really? Even if it's been warmed up and everything, it'll still drain for like a day. All right, now for Z oil filter. Oh, noggin. Yeah. You got it right. Nope. Right? Nope, that's wrong. Right. I'm backwards, that's why. Yeah, you're twisted. There it goes. All right, now be careful because it'll start draining out that little hole. Yeah, the catch hole. Yeah. There it goes. Cool. All right, just want to make sure we had it getting caught. <laughs> We're good. All right, oil filter is out. Nice. You can just throw that in there. Yeah. Yeah. A little drain. So we gotta get the trans fluid out. So let's see. Whoops. Well, well, let me just crack it and then we'll put yeah, it yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Give me this. All right, yeah, get a shot. Here you need it. It's a 14 millimeter Allen, by the way, for that yeah. drain plug on the train. There you go. Now it's cracked. This little happy thing. Oh, let me get the. I need to take a sample. Oh, yeah. It actually won't be too bad to get a sample because I can just go like this. Oh, okay, cool. You can hear it. Sucking yeah, sucking air in. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Ready? Hmm? Oh, that looks nasty. nasty. That stuff's needed to go. Fucking shit. This is the worst smelling fluid in the car, too. Yep. Basically. You gotta pull that little filter. Yep. Let's get that and then. It's an eight millimeter on there. Is it eight? Mm hmm Okay. And we're gonna pull the trans filter, which is just an eight millimeter. So don't, by the way, don't lose the washer and also these are kind of these get like sucked in there. So you have yeah, to you gotta use a, a flat head to pry it out slowly. You don't wanna pry it too hard because you'll break the plastic. Yeah. The other thing was um, the drain plug, that was a fourteen millimeter. And uh, there's a little Allen 14 millimeter thing that uh, works really great to get in there. This thing right here works perfect. It's just a 14 millimeter like stump and you just put a 14 millimeter wrench right on it. You see that? So basically right here to get this out, you kind of just slowly, slowly, slowly pry this oh, because this is not quite. If you, uh, if you try to just stick this in there, you'll break the te edge of that off and you don't want to do that. So we'll slowly pull it, pull it out. Right, it should come out. Yeah, you gotta wiggle. wiggle. There you go. Cool. And that's gonna have a ton of crap on it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, look at that. It's got a few pieces. Not too bad though. This is why you change your gearbox oil. Yeah. <laughs> so the the magnet on the fill piece was all uh, very fine particulates. Yeah. Stuck to it. This is. That's all good. Bigger teeth. Yeah. This is actually pretty good. And this is why I wanted to switch it to manual as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. No, that's actually not bad. Okay, cool. I've seen way, way yeah. more chunks than that. All right, YouTube, we took a lunch break and let everything drain. And now we're back, so we're gonna put back in first the transmission filter, 
I guess we could probably pull this out of the way. I think it's, oh, it's got a tiny bit of drip left, but basically done. All right, so we'll get these all put back in and torqued down. We're not adding any of the fluids yet, so don't add the fluids, otherwise you're gonna have to drain it again. And that would be annoying and expensive. And got new crush washers on those as well. That one we're not gonna be able to torque. You just have to do it by feel. Yeah. Good and tight. Couple augers. Couple augers. Give it a good bump. Good. It's, I'm wondering if cleaning it caused it to swell. Uh, no, probably being out of the car just caused it to swell up a little bit, but it should, it'll tap in. Yeah. yeah. Once it was in, it was in. Easy. Yeah. Okay. That one's a little, little baby aga. Baby aga. Half an aga. <laughs> These are 75 Newton meters that we're going to torque it to. There it is. Oh, you double tapped. Always double tap. You're naughty. You're not supposed to. <laughs> All right. And again, 75 Newton meters. Maybe a little tighter because tighter, you got a smaller wrench. That seems like a lot. Doesn't it? There you go. We're marking everything with a paint marker just to make sure that we know that they've been done. It also helps mark it up so you don't, uh, you can see if these backed out in the future. And then we already did that plug too, right? Yep. Oh, okay. kick. This guy. Yeah. And now the oil filter and put the date and the miles on the car on the filter so we know next time. Of course with the bottom tray and everything it's like you'll never see it again until the next time you're actually doing it. They're like, oh yeah! <laughs> there we go. Nice. And this gets tightened to 30 Newton meters which is about 20 foot-pounds. Ta -da. Only one on that one, didn't need any more. All right, YouTube, we're done underneath for now, so we're gonna put it back on the ground and start working on the top side. All righty, start off, remove the engine bay panels. And if you actually have the fuel door release, you got a little tiny thing, gotta get the pick in there, remove the tiny little U, and don't let it fall into oblivion. There it is. Actually, you don't have to pull it all the way up. Yeah, and then there's a C-clip, or E-clip, or I don't know if it's C-clip or E-clip, but whatever it is. And it looks like, I think these are three millimeter. Right. You know what, I'm getting one of those magnet things. There it is. Go backwards. Yep. There. Cool. Yep. Right, so that guy is long. That yeah, one's really long, yeah. Middle. Yep. Yep. Okay, so the two front ones are super long. Front lower. Okay, we can check. Yep. Okay. Now yeah, you gotta pop the strut. Screwdriver? Yep. So you put, there should be a little slot. You put it in and. Does yep. it come that, off? Yep, the clip will come all the way off, but you don't have to. Okay. If you get it that way, that far out. No. Here, you should be able to pop it. Yep, okay. I'm holding it. Now get the panel out of the way. Okay. And then we gotta pop that back on. Otherwise, this will fall. <laughs> 10 4. Here, I can grab this. There. Oh, nice. Put that back. Easy when you have two people. First time I did this, it fell on my head. It hurt a lot. <laughs> I didn't catch it on video, I don't think. So the internet doesn't think it happened. I injure myself for you, YouTube. Cool. Oh yeah, we should give it a bath while we're in here. Oh yeah, we'll clean her up. We got the uh, assortment of bungee cords. That's probably over there. 
And uh, the reason we got a bunch of cords is we're going to relocate a bunch of stuff and just hold it out of the way. So the coolant tank needs to come out of the way because we're going to move the entire air box assembly and the oil tank reservoir and even the K-frame, all that comes out. Oh yeah. Exhaust cats. Exhaust cats. So basically everything from like here back comes out. Time to get dirty. By the way, if you're going to do a conversion and you already have, or I should say, if you still have the original exhaust, this is the perfect time to change out your exhaust because you're going to have everything. You're pulling out the exhaust anyway, except for the headers. So it's an easy access to change out the headers while you're in there. Also a really good time to change out the clutch, throw up bearing, engine mounts, trans mount, all that stuff because you got to pull them anyway. All right, to get the coolant tank off, you gotta get these 10 millimeter little mounts off. They're rubber underneath, so uh, hopefully your rubber is in good shape and it, they don't fall apart because it's kind of weak. I've ripped those before. <laughs> and that's why they want to make it. Yeah. I need a big one. But the, the nut, the big one wasn't gonna get in there. We need another catcher. Yeah. All right. I just moved that to get the last one, just yep, to make yep. room. Yeah, don't pull it too far, otherwise it'll pop off the hose. All right, so. You just kind of hold it up like that. Yep, let's see. Oh, what happened? I saw, uh, what was a, shoot, it was a washer. From where? It was on the was on, on the that. top? Yeah, something like that. Did I miss one? I must have. I got old. Okay. Is that going to be far enough? I can yeah. get a bigger one if we need it. It looks kind of. I think we might go upside down. Nice. Okay. Out of the way. And I think they say just put the nuts and stuff back on. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Just so you know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Good call. Next is the air box. So the air box has these eight millimeters it's a, a nut or uh, bolt and nut on each side top and bottom so we get those disconnected from the mafs so at first just unscrewing with a regular flat head it's four crazy to think this thing's basically gonna be a totally new car after all this I am so looking forward to it because I was so amazed at how much different it is yeah completely different experience like I I always thought it would be good until I drove Art's car and I was like <gasps> it's amazing this isn't good this is epic Ta -da. if you haven't changed those in a while probably a good time to change those out too Take a look at them. They don't look bad at all. Not too bad. All right, so there's bolts there and up here. And then there's clamps there. Those are six millimeter, those are 10 millimeter. And oh, that's probably the whole thing. Like, you, anytime you screw up, I'm definitely keeping it. Yeah, but tank. you cut out, I blame Dan. Every time I say I blame Dan, you cut that out. Well, because it's not important. <laughs> it's just you being an ass. It's always your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mo. Hi. What you doing? What you doing, Mo? You gonna help? No. You're not very helpful. You get the clamps off, or just loose, I should say. Yeah. So what are we doing now? Now you gotta, you gotta pinch it. Off. Oh, okay. Pinch it down. Whoa! That worked. <laughs> okay. Did or we get that on film? Yeet! <laughs> He-Man over here. I oh, barely exactly. pulled on it. And it like popped off. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Birthing. 
Nice. Look how many parts we're gonna be able to clean too. Yeah. All right, so we get the, the mast disconnected and then the throttle bodies, which also have a, a plug. It said just to take it's it all out with one. We'll take out one off here and replace the car. Uh, we'll cut that. Dikes to cut that off. Yep, and then there should be a, um, there should be a plug. Where is it? On the other side. Look at you. That's another way to do it. It's the pin over there. Yeah. You know where I learned that from? Who? Sean from McMenics. Because these are very similar to the clamps that fail. On uh, McLaren? Yeah, on the, all the radiators. Well, those are the worst clamps ever. But for this, it's not critical, but under pressure on the. All right, where system? is the. There's one last wire holding it up. That one got to pop off, and then this right here. Oh, see this one? You got to pinch it. Yeah. A little more. There it goes. Got it. So, uh, and then I think we can put that there. Oop. 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 Does it go through? Oh, just plug it there. See this? See that little clip? Pop that off. Don't lose it. There you go. And then that plug should come off very easily. And then that other plug needs to come off. This one? Yep. See how it's got two got the squeeze one on both sides. That's you're having a problem with that? Yeah. 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 Oh, off of yeah, there? Yeah, okay. cutting that stupid clamp off. Cover your eyes. That hit my head. <laughs> hit the glass. Yeah, and then it ricocheted and hit my oh, head. Oh, we got to peel it out. That was cool. Wiggle that. Okay, now off. it should come off. Okay, get that out of there. All right, YouTube, we're gonna skip around a little bit. We're actually gonna pull off the rear bumper because number one, we don't wanna damage it. Number two, we're gonna be doing an aftermarket exhaust and some other stuff. So it just makes sense to get it out of here, get it off the way. So that means we gotta get the fender liners out. In order to get the fender liners out, we gotta get the wheels off. So we're gonna put it back up in the air get those off. At some point in there we pull off the fender liners. I don't know what step it is, but we're jumping around um, because the next steps it wants us to do is remove the exhaust. And so we figured, well, it's probably a good time to get the bumper off. All right, let's get these wheels off. Put this on before. Yeah. 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 Carbon ceramics. Do you have carbons? Yes. Yeah, definitely then. <laughs> Do another one. Mm -hmm. The one thread. Better. Much better. Okay. He's working on that. Josh is working on the fender liner. Teamwork makes the dream work. That one came out awkward, didn't it? Uh, the drill hit against the Brembo. Oh. And jammed. Okay. Got that one out. Oh, oh you guys must have missed one. Oh, that damn thing. You gotta be careful, there's some hoses connected to the back of it. Yeah. On one of them, I think. That one. Just remember. It's, it's a stud that there is a 10 millimeter bolt. It's an 8 millimeter. Oh, sorry, 8 millimeter bolt. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> There she blows! I didn't think that was going to happen. I know, I didn't think it was actually going to let go like that. that was... I'll probably put that in with the fender liner bag. Yeah. Where's the fender liner bag? This thing, I think this is like a tire pressure sensor or something. Yeah. It's got a uh, It's got a clip right there. It's also got... There. Um, that just pops out. I think it's squeeze. And pop. There we go. Yay! So that's that eight millimeter bolt. It's on both sides. Both sides. My 430, those were bron those were gone, so I never once had to do that. <laughs> Someone took them off and never put them back? Yeah. I never even knew they were there. Okay. 
No TPMS wires? Uh, right on it. Right here? Yeah. You just squeeze. Do you have a separate pile for screws for that side over here? And then best, best you gotta squeeze the bottom and push out. Uh, I have a bag for fender lines here and I have a bag for you over there. I got that bag, but this is for this side though. Okay, yeah. it's right here. Is it a separate? It's for the fender liner. There we go. Cool. Yep, yep, got it. Thank you. Okay, YouTube, we're gonna do something uh, a little bit unique. We're gonna modify the air intake ducts because this thing right here is just for silencing the intake noise and same with this giant thing that curves around the back of it. All it does is silence it. So we're gonna cut those off. So we're gonna take these out and cut those off and then seal those up um, and see if we get some better intake noise. Cause you know, race car parts. Your dong's gonna fall out. I got the dong. Okay. That should be right there. There's a hose or something that's caught on. On the bottom, there's a hose. See it? The hose on the top. Okay. Let's get that out of there. There we go. Fuel filter over there. So. Sweet. Alright, cool. Wow, yeah, the fill filler is right there. Bolts off for the bumper. Yep. Right there. I think you could say that. I don't think this is actually in the manual. Yeah, this is not in the manual. We're doing this because we wanted to make it easier for ourselves. Yeah, it's one less thing to scratch. Get one more thing out of the way. I know this bumper is heavy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's they, very heavy. They have thicker. On something? It's, yeah, it's hung up on this. These things, the heat shielder, right here. This back. Yep. See oh shit, we're gonna have to take that off. Yeah, just unbolt. Uh, hold on, let me get those off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it. I put it back on. Yep. Okay, these little deflectors for the exhaust, which are stupid and pointless. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Now we just gotta find the wiring harnesses. Okay. Come on, I see one here. Bumper. Yeah. The shims. Gotta look how many sh are on that side. Oh yeah, look at this shim. It's like zip tied oh, onto still it. There. Oh, no, oh wow, they're all still stuck on it. Look, this is stuck here too. I'd leave everything. Yeah, as leave them. If they're stuck, leave them. Alrighty, bumper is out of the way. And so now we're gonna remove the exhaust. Also, keep track of all the shims if you do do the bumper. So we just taped them right back where they were so that we know exactly where they're supposed to go. All right, to get the exhaust, we gotta get the O2 sensors off. Helps if you have an O2 sensor wrench. We need to get these two. They look like uh, eight millimeter. Eight, okay. Gotta disconnect all that stuff that's off of the K thing. member. Okay, O2 sensor out. Well, we're going to remove this so that we have clean access and don't have any crap in the way. Let's come off that sandwich. Oh, well, there you go. Leave them. Leave them. Yeah, I'm not going to. I just want to make sure they weren't loose or I'd take Okay. Them. All right, we got paint lines. That's good. Yep, that'll be easier to realign then. Okay. All right, now we can resume exhaust. I want to unbolt those, those and yeah. unbolt these and take the mufflers out. Yep, agreed. Yeah, get that clamp. So these look like what? Those are usually fifteens. Uh, These? No, that. That's oh, usually that, fifteen. Yeah. Those are probably sixes. Yeah. You're in my way. <laughs> Get away, stupid. There you go. Okay. While he's doing that, can this? Can, oh, can it fit? Yes, just barely. All 
All right, gotta get the uh, vacuum line clamp. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Dude. I wonder if we're gonna have to undo these. Just undo what? These, just so we can swing it to get it off the exhaust. Oh, we definitely have to unbolt this. Why don't you do? Because you're gonna need to. Center. You're gonna need to rotate each of those okay. individually. Individually. Okay. Yeah. You actually could probably sell the exhaust. It is the sport exhaust. It's a good exhaust and it's stainless. It's not bad. It's actually a tubey, believe it or not, from the factory. You were telling me that. Yeah. yeah. They just tubey and Ferrari have a little buddy buddy thing going on. Okay. Alright. You might be able to probably just need to remove this. Let's get this, 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 this. right here. Okay. Let's get this. Two. That just pops out. Does it? Yeah. There. It's out. Okay. There. Yeah, we're gonna get these off. Okay. So you can't come down without those out of the way. You got it. There you go. Now you'll be able to get it out, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Keep it all together. Almost there. Freedom. One baby. Very little shit on it. Huh? It's almost there. There it is. Bird. Should have left the battery connector. Should start up like that. <laughs> <laughs> this bracket is specific to the sport exhaust. I know this part of it too. Yes. Okay. Who's that washer? You can put all that right. shit in a bag. Yep. Volkswagen Audi. Ooh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> a box. Crash box. Yeah. Volkswagen Swift starts with Ferrari. That's the I got into an accident box. Is it? It's a crush box. See, it literally does nothing. Doesn't do anything. All right, so we're moving the heat shielding. There's bolts right there. This bolt, those are what, 10? 10 over here? These are little guys. There's the trans mount, which we're gonna have to remove in a little bit. Heat shield. Ooh, I can do this one-handed. Quick disconnect. There. <laughs> I don't see the EVAP line, so we don't have this. It must be different years have, to have it and certain years don't. There's an EVAP line that runs along all this. We don't have it, so we don't disconnect that. These guys right here, you just push on that button. Push on that button. Uh, just put top and bottom. There. Okay. And those go all the way over. Oh, I see, because they run along the K, K member. It just wants them out of the way since we're pulling all the way out. Yeah, as long as you're doing it. I just leave it on the hose. Yeah, I guess I could. Because that was the only one there. Close your eyes. Okay, these should be able to come out. This one's out. So that's good. Driver. Are you labeling these? Yes. Okay, here. There we go. D for dick. No, that's passenger. Or P for. That's the small one. We don't. How are you labeling these? Passing. So uh, we need to look up if we disconnected here or there. I'm assuming that we the, control, the controller has to come off. Okay, so we unbolt the controller. 
And then okay. where does it go after the controller? Unbolt the controller, probably take this hose off, and unplug this This Looks harness. like you just do that one... No, because it's connected somewhere here. Where does this go? Oh, this is just a vacuum yeah. line. Yeah. This vacuum line comes off. We just label it. 10-4. Yeah. And then I wonder if it's easy, easier to do it here. Leave it on the K-member? Yeah. We can do that. I don't know, that's like glue down there. That's probably why they don't. <laughs> that's want probably it. why they don't. Yeah, well, little sneaky bastards. <laughs> Follow the directions. Shall well, we well I don't know what the directions say. Let me check. It's going to gonna have to come off too then. Both okay. going to have to come no. off. No. Oh. Because this member comes out. Yeah, yeah, you have right. To disconnect this. This member comes out. You're right. It's showing just that first side it, first. It well, we want to make okay. sure we know where to plug that back in when we put it back together. That's true. It's the vacuum check valve. Say rear facing. Or just say Passenger vacuum check valve. It's a vacuum solenoid. It's gonna be easy. Well, yeah, but if you can remember, those. Right, I got that tucked out of the way. What's next? Probably the power steering. Uh, no. Uh, we gotta get the uh, these guys out of the way. Okay. So we're gonna um, need to take nope, the shield hold on. off. This needs to come out. This is the F1 F1 position sensor. All right. So F1 position. Where we gotta get uh, this from this side? Yeah, looks like it's disconnected. Right here. It actually just slides yes, back. It yeah. slides on. Okay. Yeah, do the squeeze. Okay. And, and they really like zip tied it in. Got this thing. Yeah, it's kind of like in there. ten places. Oh my god. I, to cut this. I think everything about this is that it can be converted back. So the only destructive things was the center tunnel and the pedal. Everything else, like even when we cut the heart wiring harness, they wanted two inches. Yeah. So you can rewire it. This is the only wire left that's in the way. What is this one? Okay, what do we got? I'm taking the power steering reservoir loose. So this oh, one yeah. back down. Okay, that had to come down to get the power steering reservoir. What else we got? Uh, heat shields down here so I can get access to disconnect some of these wires, right? Yep. All right. And then I get a bungee that thing up out of the way. There it is. Ta-da! Maybe it's a push down. You know what? It's a push down. Oh, pull the connector back. This thing is Duh. bolted down. Okay, we can undo that. Okay, yeah. we gotta take these off. Yes. That, okay. And these H6, it says. That's two, I think. What? Those are six millimeter? That's what it says. No. That's what it, it looks like a four. It's gonna, it's gonna it strip. You wanna hit it with penetrating oil? Tap it in with the hammer? Spray I some can try. penetrating oil. Let it soak for a minute. Try the other side. Yeah. That's annoying. Why would they use those shitty little screws? Good question. Ferrari. Ferrari, ah, Ferrari. Cause they look nice. Give those a blast. So there's apparently six of them. I guess there's some on the underside. Yes, there's stuff on the other side. Oh, under and it's gonna be those, that's gonna be a Yeah, that's gonna be real fun. What were they thinking? Uh, Ferrari, yeah. I have a feeling this is gonna be not fun. Yeah, that might be a tomorrow thing. But it's over. Yeah. This, uh, I wonder if we can pop that connector. That'd be nice. Get that heat shield out of the way first and get some more access. Pull. Backwards. There we go. Yeah. Is that. We unplug that. Squeeze hard back Squeeze, here. Squeeze, yep. And then it will come off. I'm not putting it back on, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Tuck it out of the way. All right, so we're getting that wire disconnected from the trans, which is this wire up here, so we can get it out of the way of the K member. Uh, that's so you the, cut the, the ties. Oh, right there. Okay. And you pull the insulation back. There's two of them. I already did one. Thing. It's actually a different plug. Yeah. I think I can get it from this way. Got it. Oh, got it. Whoop. There. Cool. Okay, now come on up here. Can I get this now? It's They're kind of big. The oh, shit. It's stuck some. 
Uh, there's a mount. So undo the mount. Oh. So you can yeah, yeah, these pop out. You push those forward. There you go. There. Okay. Get out of the way. All right, YouTube. We're gonna pause for the day. We got pretty far. Lots of stuff done. Lots of stuff out of the way. So tomorrow we'll continue on. And uh, we gotta get the K member out. We gotta get the trans disconnected. All that stuff. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. That does help us out. And of course, go check out normalguyssupercar.com, buy parts and services for your car through our website, and check out NG Supercars. There you can buy glorious cars that we have for sale, such as the 355 and 360 over there. And hit us up, sales at ngsupercars.com if you have any questions, but that's gonna do it for this video. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting us, and we will see you in the next video. It's gonna be sweet.